All right, one more on Build Back Better, and then I'm going to go to my long list on the labor market. <laughs> uh, so the last one I wanted to run by you. You know, you have been a leader in D.C. for years before you came to the White House running an organization on inequality, you know, equitable growth. Um, obviously, in the last few days here, we have seen this push to include the SALT um, repeal. So that's the state and local tax uh, deduction, which is currently capped at $10,000. The idea would be to waive that maybe for a few years. Um, as you and I know, that mostly benefits the wealthiest Americans who have those expensive homes. Uh, you know, I, I just, I'm wondering how you square this with the goals to make a more equitable economy, to do something like this that so benefits the top 1%. Uh, you know, is is the White House supportive of this, including the SALT repeal? It's again, you are, that is another really good question, what I've been thinking a lot about. So here's the thing, you know, when the president laid out his agenda, he laid out a fulsome set of revenue raisers that were focused on the very top of the income distribution. And, um, you know, the, he laid out a plan to fully pay for the Build Back Better agenda and to make sure that we did that by not raising taxes on people making less than $400,000 a year. Some of my favorite pieces of the president's agenda include making sure that we just literally enforce the laws on the books for those at the top. Um, for too long, we've been starving the IRS of the resources that they need to be able to effectively ensure that the wealthiest among us actually pay the taxes that they already owe. Now, here's the thing. As with all the pieces of the Build Back Better agenda, it's got to make it through Congress. Um, and there's a lot of folks over there that have a lot of different views on a lot of different pieces. Um, I hope at the end of the day that the revenue raisers that we focus on will be focused on raising revenue from those who have gained the most from our economy, who can most afford to pay, that we reward work and not wealth. Um, and that is the vision that the president has articulated. But again, inaction is not an option, and we do need to make sure that we that this gets across the finish line. But really importantly, um, you know, one of the most uh, distortive aspects of our tax code is 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 not enforcing the laws on the books. So I do think we need to be focused there.